Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, is our main event feature of the night here on FPW Championship Wrestling. It is the team of Gina Carano and her protege, Erica Fisher, against Demi Hendricks and Black Widow. crowd as they are standing on their feet for this main event feature of our September 3rd edition of FPW Championship Wrestling. I am Johnny Baba Ganoush, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have just tuned in. We are going to have ourselves a good match here, ladies and gentlemen. LCW Talent. We already got Gina Carano, actress from the Fast and Furious series. She is the teacher, and this is the protege, Erica Fisher. Straight from Halifax, Nova Scotia, making her debut tonight here on Championship Wrestling, teaming up with her mentor, her teacher, her tutor. Gina Carano has taught this young woman everything there is to know about grappling, striking, and the like. And they are going to be competing against two are the remaining students in Ladies Championship Wrestling, Demi Hendrix and Black Widow. Black Widow, you might know her from the WCW NWO World Tour video game for the Nintendo 64. But now Black Widow has made it to LCW and this is Demi Hendrix. Look at this crowd. Look how electrifying they are. And they're in for a treat. Demi Hendrix was trained by Adele Hasib of Team International. And if, for those of you who do not know this, I will keep you all informed now. Team International's Adele Hasib and Atomi will be competing on Monday, September 14th at Homecoming, the LCW World Tag Team Championships. The champions right now, Cytheria and Jersey Jackson, known as the Starlets. And there she is, ladies and gentlemen, hailing from Osaka, Japan. She's the one that was competing at WCW NWO World Tour for the Nintendo 64. Black Widow. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, this show has been brought to you by Crayola the proud sponsor of FPW Homecoming, live from the THQ Arena on Monday, September 14th. Please make sure to watch 
the links to the matches will be available on YouTube for your viewing pleasure when the time comes. The bell sounds and we are underway. Main event feature of the night, ladies and gentlemen. This is impressive, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing to see. Amazing to see that we have a teacher in our house and she's going to school each and every one of these female performers here tonight. I know that Erica is definitely going to get shown a few things, a few little tricks here and there. For this is the first time she's ever entered a wrestling ring. Digital or not, ladies and gentlemen, Erica Fisher is going to get an education in professional wrestling right here tonight, fans. Gina Carano has won the LCW World title and the tag team titles with Jivan Jan McCarthy. Last year, they have recruited Jillian Fierce to be a member of the MMA fighters. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in 2020, in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, Erica Fisher has signed a deal with Ladies Championship Wrestling in collaboration with FPW, or Fantasy Pro Wrestling. And she's been training hard with the MMA fighters. She also has background in Kayate fans, and I believe Taekwondo. So she knows, she knows how to fight. She knows how to defend herself. But can she defend herself against Demi Hendrix and Black Widow? That's the question you must ask yourself. And right now, Erica's in the ring with Black Widow. Let's see what Erica can do. Oh, the nice stuck underneath. Misses a kick. But executes a release German suplex. Well done. A second German suplex. Oh, nice. A spinning Polish hammer. And some beautiful stiff kicks to the midsection of Black Widow. Winding up that arm. The fans are loving this. Oh, basement drop kick. I was not expecting that at all, fans. And now Gina Carano has Black Widow right where Erica wants her. Oh, single leg drop kick. Off the ropes. Another single leg drop kick. Beautifully done. Oh, spinning low kick and another basement drop kick. Well done. Is this what Gina Carano taught her? Oh, look at that. Beautiful teamwork. Gina Carano pulled the top rope, allowing Black Widow, Black Widow to tumble down to the outside floor. Where's Erica going? Erica is now attacking on Demi Hendrix. Sky Stanley, our senior referee, is making the count. I think the count's been broken. All right, and now we're back to a level playing field here. Erica and the Widow are in the ring. Beautiful combination of strikes here. Black Widow is completely rocked and has no idea what to do at this very point because Erica Fisher is so quick and so fast on those strikes. Tag has been made and now the teacher is in the ring. This crowd is absolutely deafening tonight, fans. Deafening. I can barely hear my own self speak, let alone think. But we hope you have enjoyed so far, ladies and gentlemen, 
what we have in store, what, what we had in store tonight. Benjamin Stack is now a two-time ECW World Heavyweight Champion, defeating Titanium. Speaking of the specialists, Vicious Jeremy is doing okay. He's just a little bit banged up right now and, uh, and really, really upset of the actions of the British Invasion, Robert English and Shane Eaton McKay. Oh, nice diving flip from the top rope. Demi Hendrix collides with Gina Carano while Erica Fisher with a beautiful flowing like DDT and a beautiful Superman punch, or in this case, a Supergirl punch. A second Supergirl punch by Carano. And we have a cross arm breaker. A cross arm breaker and Erica Fisher distracts Black Widow. If Demi Hendrix had tapped out, it would have been devastated. Oh my goodness, German suplex with the bridge. Two counts. Demi Hendrix has to put, has to pay attention to what's gonna happen. Demi Hendrix has to pay attention to what Gina Carano does in the ring. Hendrix is in the ring with a pro, with a veteran. Gina has been in an FPW or LCW for over 10 years now. And Demi Hendrix has only been here for like 10 minutes. Big difference. Oh wait, speaking of which, Demi Hendrix now on the top turnbuckle. Silent superplex. You've seen that a lot in this company, fans. I don't know why, but unfortunately the microphone does not pick up the sound from that superplex. So we just call it a silent superplex. And now Erica Fisher. Fisher and Carano with a double team side Russian leg sweep. Hey, did you just see that? Sky Stanley just knocked Erica Fisher from the top turnbuckle, but takes advantage with a diving elbow drop. Oh! Diving Moonsaw hit the wrong, hit the wrong gal there, Erica. Wow, this match continues on, fans, and uh, tag has been made, and now we got Black Widow. And during her time in, uh, oh! Okay, I know the angle is pretty off there, fans, but that was a shining wizard. If I haven't seen that. Oh, nice, beautiful double DDT. Black Widow is shown in the N64 video game of WCW versus NWO World Tour. Very, very popular game back in the 90s. Uh, it's won uh, players cho a Player's Choice Award for possibly best uh, wrestling video game ever until WrestleMania 2000 took over and ultimately No Mercy took over as well. Black Widow is one of the most difficult superstars to get because you have to beat the Worldwide Wrestling Tour to unlock Joe Bruiser who also is an FPW and we'll get to Joe Bruiser in a little bit. But you have to defeat every single cruiserweight in the game to unlock Black Widow. And trust me, Black Widow is a very tough opponent. As she is tonight here, fans, because she's putting up with all these attacks from Gina and Erica. And look at this. Black Widow's got Erica Fisher in the Tree of Woe. Somehow escaped it. Front flip dive from the top rope. Erica Fisher goes airborne and takes down Black Widow. Unbelievable. Now what's she up to? Oh, 
Stiff kick to the temple. Has to be it. Must be. Ah, oh, rope break. The ropes have saved the day for Black Widow. And another beautiful Japanese style arm drag. As mentioned, Joe Bruiser was also part of World Tour. But Joe Bruiser tonight did a fantastic job against three members of five of the Diamond Mine. I could have sworn that at least Joe Bruiser was going to eliminate Scott Hall or even Arn Anderson for that matter because he came so close with those submission holds. The same one that got him the Universal Championship from Horvat the Hungarian Barbarian at Coastal Clash, which by the way is available on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. And now Erica Fisher sending up Black Widow, snapping Hurikan Rana. That was a very quick, deadly Hurikan Rana, two and a near fall. And a Polish hammer. Erica, what is she doing now? Well, that's kind of silly. Now Black Widow's tagged in a fresh and vibrant Demi Hendrix. I thought that Erica was going to go for a tag. That's, that, that was my thought. Oh, look at that. Hip attack on the corner. A page out of the book of Asuka. And now Gina Carreno's been tagged in. Going for an armbar submission hold. Yes, she does. Erica's there to back up her teacher. Making sure that nobody comes out there and breaks the hold. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, what an incredible tag team main event match we have here. All right, Erica, back in the ring now. She has her sight sets. Are we gonna see a grapevine choke? A grapevine choke! Look at this! Look at Demi Hendrix struggling, crawling towards freedom. Black Widow trying to save her partner. And Erica is not letting go of this submission hole. Can this be it? Will this be it? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, a spine buster slam. A mini spine buster slam. Demi Hendrix manages to escape the clutches of Fisher. And now another submission hole, like modified dragon sleeper. She's not letting go, fans. Wait, those knee strikes from Demi Hendrix. Oh, a Supergirl punch. I am impressed by these talents. The future of ladies championship wrestling is right here, right now. Oh no, missed the kick. And Erica tags out. Now Gina Carano, Black Widow. Fall away slam, wow. Just incredible, ladies and gentlemen. And this night's been incredible too. We do understand though, um, going back to the uh, the fir our first matchup of the night tonight, which was Joe Bruiser against three members of the Diamond Mine. Scott Hall has lost a lot of blood. And apparently, according to doctors, he was on the verge of passing out, possibly suffering from some severe injuries. But uh, he's going to be okay, fans. He'll be okay. Um... Uh, and we also understand that now Shane Gordon, the challenger for the Universal Championship Monday, September 14th, has made another match. But this time, Joe Bruiser will be competing against DDP. I think maybe Arn Anderson. 
and Shane Gordon himself in a gauntlet match. Joe Bruiser will have to run a gauntlet, fighting off one wrestler at a time. As if Joe Bruiser already had a big, big match. Oh, look at this, double, double hip toss and two kicks. One in the back, one in the chest. Well done, ladies. Oh, diving elbow drop. But Shane Gordon is relentless. He wants what belongs to him, the FPW Championship of the Universe. It all goes back to Coastal Clash in the month of July. It's incredible, fans, but this is what it is. A gauntlet match set for next week. Also set for next week, the ECW World Tag Team titles will be defended as the Super Bad Boys, Jesse the Hand Baudouin and Nick Lovin, the Sexy Hamburger. Oh, wait a minute, hot tag. Black Widow tags, Demi Hendrix takes down Gina Carano and wait, no. Erica Fisher catches Demi Hendrix with a guillotine rope, oh no. Oh no! Nasty attack right there by Black Widow as Demi Hendrix going for the cover. Sky suddenly slides in Nar. No! Gina kicks out. As I mentioned, the Super Bad Boys will be defending those tag team titles against... Oh, that was amazing, fans. That was a springboard Phoenix Splash from Demi Hendrix. Another springboard dive! A flip dive from Demi Hendrix. Oh, nice save. Nice save. Erica Fisher just took everything she had, dove in to save her partner and mentor. I keep getting distracted, Fed. This, this, this match is incredible. I just want to finish off by saying the ECW World Tag Titles will be defended as the Super Bad Boys meet the wrestling dynasty, Tyson Kidd and Drew. That's going to happen next week. And we also have just announced right now from the championship committee a six-man tag team match. Team FPW versus Team No Mercy. Black Widow has... Oh! I thought she had Gina. That was a Michinoku driver. But Erica Fisher distracted the referee long enough. And yet, Carano kicked out. This match continues on, ladies and gentlemen. So yes, Team FPW will be consisting of Muscle Bomber Kerry Ortega, Shaolin, and Johnny Mira versus Ming, Gigantor, and Vance Jeremiah. Should be interesting, fans. It'll be a one fall to a finish, but false count anywhere, no disqualifications, and it's gonna get rough, fans. It's gonna be awesome. All this next week. What an intense matchup, man. All right, now back to the back, back to wrestling, here, fans. Back to wrestling. Things are a little bit chaotic right now. I'm kind of having a hard time figuring out who's the legal person. I think it's, I think it's Gina Carano. Wait a minute. Sky Stanley calls for the bell. It's all 